This is Deezena15, and welcome back to another episode of the Late Night Hero series, where we spotlight a different playable hero within Heroes of the Storm for each episode. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Butcher, the Flesh Carver, who happens to be a melee assassin. The Butcher feels and plays like a quick-hitting warrior. Unlike the two most commonly played melee assassins, Illidan and Zeratul, the Butcher doesn't dart in and out of combat. Once he's engaged, he's in there for the duration. He doesn't have a dash to back out or an ability to halt damage, so you need to pick your targets carefully. That being said, if you can match him 1v1 and in the right scenario, he can utterly dominate a lane. So let's take a look at those abilities and selection screen, then we'll focus on talents, tactics, and gameplay during a quick match. So his Q is hamstring. This is going to be your primary poking mechanism as well as your ability to kind of do a little bit of AoE damage or sort of minion-y kind of lane damage. Um, it, can for it forms a large uh, semi-skill shot area uh, and a medium-ish kind of distance uh, that does a moderate amount of damage and slows enemies within its path. So this is going to be your ability to kind of tag a bunch of guys, not that you really need to, but you can. Um, and then your next basic attack will strike immediately. So as soon as you hit him, you're going to hit him again, so you can combo that pretty quick. His W is Butcher's Brand. This will allow you to uh, basically mark the enemy for a low to moderate amount of damage but what it really does is it allows you to actually get heals uh, in the middle of a fight if you don't spec into one of the trait talents. This allows you to heal for 75% of the damage done so towards the end of the game when you're dealing a significant amount of damage and you have a large amount of his trait built up you will actually be able to really heal yourself up. Now he doesn't have a huge health pool, he has a large health pool for a melee assassin but he doesn't have a warrior sized health pool so don't necessarily have to try and think of it as um, a, a it's not a great brawling me brawling mechanism so you're not going to hop in pop this and expect to survive over the course of a long group encounter it's something that you can kind of lull uh, a 1v1 match into your favor where you're kind of slowly taking some damage they use their abilities and bursted you a little and you're kind of down to that 50 to 40 percent range you pop this and you'll be back up to 80 to 90 percent no problem because your healing is doubled versus heroes. So if you're using the lane, not going to do you too terribly great. But if you're using it against a hero, particularly in a 1v1 scenario, it's money. You'll get a lot of your health back and refund. Um, a lot of your sustainability throughout the course of a fight. So if you can isolate an enemy on the outskirts of a battle, great way to actually heal yourself back up and then hop back in to join the rest of your team. His E is Ruthless Onslaught. This allows him to charge an enemy, basically giving him uh, an engaging encounter kind of works a lot like, or it's used a lot like a Nubrox's Burrow Charge if you're trying to hop into a fight. So let's charge an enemy, you become unstoppable while you're actually in the um, uh, in the charging phase, but it, if they actually are on a horse and they are already at the outskirts of your range, you will not be able to actually follow them forever. You will have a limit and you will actually kind of stop them um, for about, I think it's for two seconds you'll charge but then you kind of stop and you just kind of sit there and be like oh derp but if you do reach them you will actually stun them they'll take a moderate amount of damage and it's a great mechanism to try and um, alter or put uh, ranged uh, assassins on the defensive or even ranged support um, it gets them to flee real quick when you start charging at them but you have to use this carefully because if you use this and then they your the enemy team surrounds you you're you're hosed he doesn't have the sustainability he has no way to mitigate damage. He just is going to take it, and he can't take it all that well. Better than Illidan or Zeratul, but he's still not going to be someone who can stand in there and really slug it out like uh, Sonya, perhaps. Now, his trait is fresh meat. This is very interesting, and I expect this to somehow either get changed or buffed, probably with the next patch. I think it's a great mechanism, but you basically grab, gather strength by killing enemies, and everyone will drop something. So any minion... I'm sorry, any minion or hero, the mercenaries will not drop anything, but the minions and the heroes will. Uh, so with each stack, you increase your damage output, um, and later on you can buff it through the talent system uh, to gain both health as well as uh, attack speed. So towards the end of the game, you're slugging around for you know 600 damage a swing. You can really put a hurt on some people. Uh, he can once he gets into a brawl, he can he can hold his own. But you have to remember once you kind of get into that one v two situation, 
it's time to run. And he doesn't have a way, if you look at his abilities, to really run. He can hamstring to kind of hold them down, but that's only two seconds and it has a decaying uh, sort of um, slow. So as you kind of turn to hit, you're not really going to have a whole lot of time to, to run away at that point, particularly if you're facing a ranged assassin. Now, the first heroic is Lamp to the Slaughter. This will chain an enemy. It will do a, a moderate to high amount of damage. Um, it does have a one second delay, so they will see an area of effect on the ground and have a chance to run away from it. But oftentimes, it's fast enough that you will snag someone. Um, it's a great mechanism to have to use um, when escaping or trying to flee. Um, it's also going to be used to kind of uh, help you while you're retreating um, or while the group is retreating to try and mitigate the group's uh, ability to, the enemy group's ability to focus fire. I love it to try and uh, alter the way people move because it does do some damage and it holds someone in place for four seconds. So if you just chain someone down, you will be able to kill them. Unless it's a tank. You will be able to kill them in four seconds. It's just very few people are, particularly if you're at full stacks of fresh meat. His other uh, heroic ability is Furnace Blast. So this has a three second delay, which is a very long time. Um, and then it will do a significant amount of damage in a small or small to moderate uh, area around him in a circumferential area. It can be cast while you're charging with Ruthless, ruthless Onslaught. So I like to hit your Furnace Blast, pick a target, charge them with Ruthless Onslaught, and then hopefully by that time, it's gone off. It's, it can be a little tricky to try and uh, get the timing right. It only, it'll take you a few times and a few misses, but eventually you'll kind of get it. It also requires a little bit of some spacing issues because you kind of want the maximum number of people around you, but you're also an assassin, so you don't want that many people around you. So it's, it's a delicate balance. It's great if you have a solid tank like Johanna that can concentrate a bunch of, bunch of people. And then you can pop that while they're all focusing on her. But if that happens, you may just as well expect to you know, sacrifice yourself while you're doing a significant amount of damage. Because if they all focus or turn and fire on you, you're just done. There's just no surviving a group encounter. But overall, I think he's an excellent damage dealer who can pull double duty in either holding lane or bursting down an opposing hero. The Butcher does lack significant burst damage ability, but can make up for it with high sustained auto attack damage. Thusly, it becomes paramount that you prioritize acquiring stacks of fresh meat to maintain its high damage output. If you minimize the overextension and play your role properly, you, you know, without wildly engaging enemies all willy-nilly like, you will be able to put up some amazing numbers all while still contributing to the team. And while it may be tempting to charge into a fight with Re uh, Relentless Onslaught, let the tank do their job and then work the periphery down. That's where he maximizes his effectiveness not necessarily charging in. He is a ranged assassin specialist. Or ranged assassin killer specialist. We'll go with that. As ineloquent as it is. But anyway. Let's <coughs> excuse me. How's about we uh, hop on in? Oh, one other thing. You also need to watch out how you select him if you decide to go with the Hero League. Um, you know, he because he's an auto attack or basic attack, um, primary, you have to watch out against enemies like Lily or Johanna, and some to some extent Brightwing because uh, she can uh, polymorph you, but those two will be able to prevent you from doing your uh, basic attacks and really being effective. So you may want to reconsider a fight if you see those two pop up ahead of you. But that's that's something we'll try and delve into a little bit later. Anywho. How about we get into a quick match and see what we can uh, see if we can't show him off, shall we? Shall we? And we're back into the tomb of the Spider Queen. Oh, someone has a trigger goblin. So I think that what we I plan on kind of doing is instead of focusing completely on talents, we're going to just try and focus a little more on gameplay um, and general tactics. Talents, as particularly in the last patch, just got completely reworked. So if you look at my Bright Wing, that's almost a completely different character. Can still work. Some of it's still viable, but you know that's that's just almost redoing everything. So what I'm gonna do is try and focus on the overall style of gameplay to see if we can't work that, and then maybe we'll be able to generalize a little bit into the talents. 
First thing I went with Victuals, I fully expect that to be reworked over the next patch, either to be integrated within the trade itself, or maybe even, um, is someone down there? I can't tell. Uh, maybe even to be changed, um, because I think that it would go very well. Uh, are you still here? Yes, you are. Yeesh. So you're going to try and run away on me. I know that much. Whee! Okay, well, we we parried them back enough that it's okay. So, that's all we really needed to do. And then, later on, we'll be able to generate a lot more stacks. Oh, fresh meats. And if our Zeratul character friend would help us out here, we'd actually be able to get a kill. There we go. Excellent. Uh, no, sir. Bam! Thump, thump, thump. So... <laughs> and that's with not that many stacks. A few stacks, but not that many. So that's a great way to start this thing off. So, you know, he doesn't really work as a ganker. Not so much as, say, Nova would, for sure. But you can kind of, you know, farm him out a little. You can do okay. Oh, oh I guess I'm charging here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really thought that she was going to be out of my range, but guess not. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, yeesh. This guy has a friggin' death wish. And I can't get to him either. There we go. Excellent. That's fine. You can pop me out here. Nova! Wow. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. That's not hard. But we need to get out of there. <laughs> we were teetering on over... Uh, not overcompensating. We do that all the time. But what was it? Uh, overextending. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can't pick off this Zeratul friend. There we are. Uh, you are not charging nearly as fast as uh, Unstoppable would make you to, to believe that you could. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have to hearth back. We just don't have the ability to just hang around too terribly much. Because um, we need mana. You know, particularly in the early game, he runs out of mana, just like most. Um, let's go with Ruthless. I'm feeling like we're going to need to pursue a lot of people with some charges here. So, yeah. That's what I fully expect and intend to do. Um, yeah, he knows where you are when you pick stuff up, dumbass. Do we have stuff? We have eight gems. Get him, there you go. <laughs> toast. Toasty, toasty, toasty. That's okay. We just gotta watch out for Nova, because she may be lurking. Oh, there. Oh! Nope, that's not her. Nope, nope, not there either. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna sit in the lane, pummel these guys, push them back. Get some fresh meat, not for the stacks, because we're fully stacked, but it's definitely just to help. There we are. Someone picked her off. I don't know where. He needs to get the hell out of Dodge. There you go. Excellent. Okay, now we can head in here. Drop this off. We don't need that. But we can. There are 16. And. Excellent. Now we're up to 30. Uh oh, Tyriel. I don't like what you're doing down there. That is rude. How rude, sir. Boink! Run away. Get him back here. I uh, really shouldn't be focusing down the tank, but... Who cares? He's dead. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. Derp, derp, derp. Uh -huh. Derpy, derpy, derp. Derpy, terial. And use that for laning. So, I don't like to use hamstring for laning if I can help it, just because it takes up a good bit of um, uh, mana to try and use for that. When you can very easily just pummel your way through uh, and still get pretty good results. Always got to go with increasing stacks. I mean, if you don't, that's just silly. Ah! Nice. 
Try and get ahead. That's not her. Where did she go? Let's not fight it. No sense in dying. Okay. Then we do need to watch out for the eventual turn in. Ah! Oh, charge angry! You don't like the butcher when he's angry. <laughs> uh, it's all about cloak discipline. If you got cloak discipline, you got a chance. And let's get some web weavers, shall we? Whee! Uh oh! Someone thought he was going somewhere, and he is not. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's go help down a Nazibo or Nazibut, if you will, and we'll start pushing a lane hard and heavy here with our friends, the Web Weavers. Web Weavers are our friends. Okay. There we go. Chugging along here, particularly now that we got extra stacks. Extra fat stacks. Uh, Nazebo, lock him down, please. No? Okay. Or does that do it the old fashioned way? Now? Really? Could have had a kill out of that. But nee. Somebody didn't want to do that. Alright, so just pounding away, you know, kind of watching the back, our back, just to make sure we don't get. have that happen with us. So we are going to let him hamstring up and then move to a different lane. Because. Again, remember, you're a melee assassin, not a melee warrior. Ooh, lamb to the slaughter. They do have two tanks. Oh, yeah. Yep. Come on, are you in range? Oh! Yes, you are! Oh, no! Damn it! Ah! Oh, damn it all. Oh, oh well, see, that's how Land to the Slaughter works. Nice little uh, uh, thing. Uh, I, I enjoy using it like that. Just locking someone down, particularly when you use it on a, a cloaked individual. Hilarious. You know they're just cursing up a storm on the other side. Like, how the fuck did they see me? Derpy. So, uh, I, I, it's just fun. I mean, what else can you say? It's just plain old-fashioned dirty fun. Really should be grouping up or hanging out with the group here. But I want to continue to push our, ours because we're losing this wave down here ever so slightly. So I just want to mitigate it and our Sylvanas can do that. Either way, I'll give us some fresh meat. Who's down here? Someone down here? No, no one's down here. Uh, could falsify our returns. Make them think. Oh, wow. I don't like that. That's not the real one. That was a nice drop, though. I have to admit, pretty convincing. Okay, so we gotta build back our stacks up. Which won't take too terribly long. You know, we're, we're, we're chugging away here pretty easily. We just wanna make sure that we have good cloak discipline. And there they both are. <laughs> so we, at the very least, know where they are. Yeah, nope. <laughs> and there's still one out here. Nope. Uh, no, sir. I am unstoppable. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? I get hit with it. There's still people up there? Huh, that's an interesting way to try and protect yourself. I don't see that too often. I guess it worked, but. Alright. What do we want to go with? Could go Ruthless Onslaught, I think, wants to deal some extra damage. The other option is you go with the Hamstring type of build. Um, we don't want to engage them too terribly much. But we will. Uh, Tyriel, you are not going anywhere, sir. Uh, oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, no! Ho, 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 ho! Oh, you want to face me? Bring it, son. Excellent. Because that is the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Now we're going to turn in some more. And get our own web weavers. Because, you know what? Screw you, cloaked people. I'll do what I want. Okay. So you can kind of see how you're kind of working it. Staying in the lane, not getting over 
uh, drawn in. You gotta be able to pull back. You can't get over invested. Because if you do, bad things. It's always a good idea to have a running mate, too. Is there a cloaked guy up there? Couldn't tell. And the good news about this map, of course, is that you potentially always have one. They can kind of go with you if you have the web weavers working on your favor. So, I may head down to the middle. Oh, they have worked. Oh, Zeratul. Not smart. Not smart. Bad things. I don't like this because I don't want to be overextended. Which I have a fear that we're going to do here. But I'm going to try and help push this down. And then I am going to actually... Oh, they're all down south. We're okay. But I am going to recommend that we get the hell out of here quick. Because bad things are happening at our base. And I don't think it's worth the off chance that we're able to actually push them out. So I gotta stick down here and try and defend. Which, as a melee, not good. Not good at all. So we're just gonna sacrifice this bad boy. <laughs> and they're gonna be able to turn in real quick here. So we get away from our tank because remember assassin can't start charging in. Okay. Well, we repelled him. Come on guys, we need to be up here. Because they are going to be right here. Oh, oh, oh. oh damn it! Material or Zeratul, you son of a bitch. Oh well, that's that's a lot of gems that they just lost. I'm okay with that trade. I mean, ideally I would like more. Oh god damn it. I gotta hold out. I gotta try. Oh damn it. The Zebo! What the fuck are you doing? I mean honestly. Come on. Okay, now I'm pissed off. Now we've got extra attack speed, and we're just gonna blow through them if we can ever get a max stack again, which I expect we'll be able to. There's one sitting right here. There's a gem sitting right there in the Zebo. And there's someone hanging out. Some cloaked person. I'm assuming it's Zeratul. But no! <clears throat> some people just don't have cloak discipline. If you're watching this, watch your screen, be aware of your surroundings. If you see squiggly lines, you're probably not high. Unless you live in Colorado, California, Washington, or, you know, those states. So, uh, I say we probably need to go down here like this. Maybe even take that siege camp. Maybe. Oh, we got a Zeratul. Excellent. Zeratul for Zeratul. Give me some blood, meat, whatever. Same difference. It's indirect to me, anyhow. Whee! Dunk! Oh, noes. But I did engage them just in time. Now, the downside, of course, they know that I'm actually here. If they have good map presence. Uh, they know I'm here anyway. But hopefully that will mitigate my losses from the web weavers. They'll help try and control them a little. A little. Not much, but a little. Uh, do we have someone here? We have Tyrael here. I might be able to catch him. I'm not sure. We're going to go after Bala, though. That's, that's low-hanging fruit right there. Yep. Low-hanging fruit. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. So we need to pick up some more stacks. Mini stacks. Mini... Mini stacks. That's okay. We don't need to push too hard right here. We got this one. Now we need to head down south and try and gank if we can. Oh no, 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 sir. Uh, yep. Yeah, you don't want to be on that end of things, my dear. Because I am going to get my health. One way or another. <laughs> uh, we got to maintain cloak discipline. I think we did. 
and we can kind of get our health back, but we're gonna we're gonna sip up here. Really regain it and head through this kind of darkened hallway. Okay. Uh, that's definitely not the real Nova. Uh, no, madam. Whee! <laughs> oh, you damn ass! You pushed him away from me. That's the opposite of what we wanted to have happen. <laughs> uh, is that the real Nova? That is the real Nova. Oh, that was stupid. Alright, let's get us some Well Weaver, shall we? Maybe? Do we have enough? I don't think we have enough. Oh, yeah, we do. Just barely, but we have enough. Enough to push them hard and fast, and maybe even long if we're really feeling it. You know, I did just eat. Yep. <laughs> oh, silly Tyrion. You think you're a tank, but you're really not. All right, let's get some web weavers going. Get some meat. Get some health, and then we are gonna go up here. Did he just no, he did. The others there took off. Oh no's. Okay, so we still have two lands heavy on push. I'd say that now would be a pretty good time to go out to the boss, but we don't have Diablo, so we really just gotta push a lane, I guess. Push a lane, any lane. Ugh, we're definitely going after that. So watch Leos. We're going to put out some hate. 575 a swing, max. So, if you really are looking to mess some people up, there is a way to do it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> um, at max stacks, particularly spec into the trait, it's bad. It's bad news for some people, I tell you what. Even tanks really can't do too much when you're just wailing away at them. Um, yeah. Nope. And particularly when I'm actually getting 20% of my health back. Oh shit, I overextended. I overextended. Ooh, maybe I didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Diablo with the save there. Oh, that was marvelous, sir. Dunk! <laughs> and we got 21 to turn in. I think we're going to turn in because I don't want to lose 21 stacks. That's just a lot. And we're not going to be able to push into their core just yet. Not at this point. Soon. Soon, mind you. But not just yet. I agree. Let's take over our Bruiser Comp. My Bruiser Comp. And, <clears throat> and we're just gonna get us some health back here. <clears throat> kill the little guys, kill the little guys. And boop! Have we already zip? Yeah, okay, there we go. We can top off. Looks like we got this one in hand now, as long as we don't do anything stupid. And we could be doing some stupid things, you never know. If they flip us on the boss, particularly if they could do a blind jump with ETC, we could lose our tank. You know, stuff like that. Stupid things. No. <laughs> that is not going to work for you, sir. 750. Oh. Just smoking them. Okay. Now that we've got a nice little push here. I think it's time. Go nuts. Go. Ooh, get away from that. And the good news is we can really tank this guy now. Not before, but look at this health that you're going to regenerate here at full stack. Just going crazy on him. Doesn't have a chance. And then look at what we got. It's Marveloso. We could even turn in if we really want to, but I feel like killing, killing Tyrell again. Go silly Cheerio. Oh, maybe not. Poke! <laughs> Is he gonna wait? Is he gonna turn in again? 
Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know where all these guys went. We're just gonna maintain the, the line here. Keep our push going. And get some gems, get us some fresh meat, get us all the good things in life. And then we're gonna turn in. Because they're doing a good job down there. But if you look at the end talents, look at that boss. Just going crazy. But if you look at our last talent, Nexus Blades, basic attacks deal more damage and slow. Uh, yeah. No, nothing's gonna ex escape your wrath. No. <laughs> just like that. Just just a big bat. Uh, no. Uh, I don't play that. No, sir. So now you can kind of play as a warrior a little bit more once you kind of have a slight XP lead. And um, you're able to really push them out. So you can play as a warrior there. I mean, with as much health as I'm regaining at full stacks of Butcher's Brand. Butcher's Brand meat. Huh, I wonder if they did that. Um, <laughs> you just can. I don't, at that health, I didn't want to hop in there and try and take the court just yet. Because Vala was still alive. Not much, but she's able to you know kind of parry me off um, if she had to so I didn't want to push it too much not too much just yet and we want to get away from that because remember don't overextend overextending is your enemy particularly now that everyone's coming back online so we just come down here we take out these guys real quick and we show them how it's done I mean just swinging just haymakers constantly and Ontario, where did he go? Where is he? Is he right there? He is right there. Oh, hit him. What? Zeratul, you pussy. You so had him. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, guys. Where are we going to go? I'm going to go down here. I'm going to take our bruiser camp again. Let it get us nice push. Ugh. And I'm gonna solo it because I can. Because at 35 max stacks. Oh, that was silly. <gasps> Particularly when they're, um, <laughs> when they are, uh, what is that? Vulnerable? Don't stand a chance. Just no chance. No chance. So we are now a player because we had stupidness. But we gotta turn in. We are just going to turn in here, get our web weavers, or at the very least deny Whoa, that didn't go where I wanted it to. At the very least deny them that ability. So they're down one stealth, so only Zeratul would be able to actually attack me if that were to be the case. So I know that Nova's not gonna be able to punch me and knock me around at all. So even Zeratul or Zeratul Tyrael's kinda of running. Because he knows what's gonna happen. And it's bad thing, mind you. It is bad thing. Oh. Nope. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I had him. I really thought I had him. Just not enough speed. That's the thing. If he had Blink or uh, Bolt of the Storm, holy shit. You'd have to watch out for that. He, he really would be unstoppable. Although the Nexus Blades versus that, I think this is a good trade-off for him to keep him somewhat balanced because he does need to have that sort of lack of mobility because if he had full mobility plus everything, I mean, would you choose anyone else? No. Uh, let's run away. Let's help. Get our help. Go get some health here. And then kill her. <laughs> and then kill him. We can. We can catch him. Oh, look. Hey, look. There we go. We won. Yay! Go team. So that's kind of how you can use him. If you want to look, we'll take a look at our, um, the talents that we spec to on the uh, end screen. But I think with this, I mean, I, don't know, I kind of enjoy going through all the talents, but some t I, mean, I ex fully expect the Butcher to be rebalanced in the next patch, probably heavily. So I don't want to invest too much that wouldn't necessarily be just fruitless and then uh, wouldn't be worth anything towards the end so let's see where we ended up 
end up with the most hero damage by a far margin. Stuck, could have stuck in the lane a little bit longer, but we were definitely right in the thick of... Oh, no, we were not. Our uh, Nazebo and Sylvanas really did a good number. But look at our XP contribution. Just killed it. So we really held it together. Only two deaths. So that's staying on the periphery, making sure we aren't necessarily going to get into the fray too terribly much. You can kind of do like a Nova style, you know, roaming around the edges, cheap kills kind of thing. But it, it works. You know, we got some nice hero damage. Our tank was able to concentrate. You got to let him get in there. Because if you remember that one encounter where we had, um, or we had our web weavers, but they were able to counterattack us pretty easily. And then I had to play defense. I'm not going to jump in there. That's just not smart playing. And I would have died. They would have continued to push and potentially even gotten our uh, fortress and then been able to actually push out some catapults at that point. So we'll take a look at the talents that we went through. This is uh, a nice build. Um, Victuals allows you to stay in the lane, continue to get health. You saw that only towards the end where they're really doing a lot of bursty damage without really even needing to actually go back and pick up some health. Um, then I went with Unrelenting Pursuit. Really continue to push that cooldown further down so that you can continue to kind of chain together those uh, um, different attacks or the different charges. The other option would be to allow your uh, hamstring to last longer, which is not a bad option. Uh, it does, if you can hit multiple targets, you know, then you can get multiple um, uses or benefit out of it. But I like relenting, unrelenting pursuit because it gives you savage charge later on because I don't like the talents necessarily on the 13th tier. Then you go with the abattoir. That gives you the increase into the overall uh, number of fresh meat, increasing the amount of damage that you do per s or at your max stack, and then eventually when you go up to the blood frenzy, you're just swinging away. So that's 35% increased speed, and that I mean you just saw what I did. I was able to just basically tank through damage uh, with the uh, uh, butcher's brand to allow me to stay healthy, and you just swing away, and because that's a timed. Um, talent or ability it's and not a um, uh, per swing or you only get so per hit uh, you at once you get this bad things happen you're able to stand there and I was able to go toe to toe with a tank and a damage dealer and survive and kill the tank also use the lamb to the slaughter which does that moderate amount of damage but chained uh, ETC down smack him away good stuff and then the Nexus blades it's kinda like your Nexus fury it does a lot of extra damage um, you can go with the, the heroic boost, but I really think that if you're able to maintain maximum stacks, you can do some dirty things with it. You just really can. Same thing with most melee assassins. Zeratul went with it as well. Oh, both Zeratuls did. So it's just too dirty, particularly when you're already stacked just to do so much more. It really puts a hurting on the enemy team. So uh, I, it, things went pretty well. Could have gone better, but overall I think that we did... Uh, decently at least so all right then i think that that'll wrap things up for this session of our late night heroes please feel free to leave any comments below or message me directly of course i appreciate any likes and or subscribing to the channel and don't forget to take a look at some of the other hero, hero league videos for ranked gameplay as well as our slowly expanding library of other games this has been dsnuff 15 thanks for watching and we'll try and do better next time I mean, the map was made for the butcher. Of course, so is the battlefield for attorney. They're they're all really made for the butcher and his brand of meat cleaving. Hello.